All right, friends, here we are back again, ready to continue where we left off. We are playing Escape the Dark Walker. We just left from Forlorn Muskeg, and now we're in Milton Basin. I didn't quit the game, I just ended the video at a half of an hour, and just continue where I left off restarted another video. just over here. We were attacked by that wolf who now is dead, or at least dying. Get out of here! We should be okay. This is how we should have been the last time. around here, deer. Just as I hoped we would be underweight, well rested, so we don't have to adjust our weight. We can just climb right up the rope when we get there. We're not even going to need to use the one of the um, energy drinks. And I only planned on using one there on this first rope, and it looks like we're not even going to need one. So... I guess things are going pretty good. And the monster, you know, we spent a lot of time just uh, going back and forth in and out of that cave. And the monster did it. Oh, there's that wolf. He didn't die yet. I've had them run away from me. And then when they get up to a place like that where they don't have anywhere to go, they'll just turn around and run back. When they come back, they end up getting you. I had that happen when I threw a rock at one. He wasn't wounded, but he went running off and he got stuck and he turned around and got me. And as I was bandaging myself up, another one came by the derailed train, trying to get me again. Ended up getting my rifle out, took a shot, missed, but he still kept coming. And then it was an excellent video, and the recording crashed because I ran out of storage space. get up this before he starts coming up here because we gotta wait on that ledge we're not gonna make it all the way to the top I'm not gonna use either one of those things now those energy drinks because we might need to climb a couple ropes in Hush River Valley I don't know look at us go wow we're like amazing people okay Ok, 
and we see him stomping around down there. He has a green hue around his feet. And you can see the snow sprout up around his feet as his foot falls. All right, we caught our breath. Let's go. He's getting pretty close. I don't think he has to worry about climbing ropes since he can walk through the walls. Don't get too close now. I just want... Well, he's... He's over there around the corner still, so... I just wanted to see if we could see him. Yeah, I'm kind of in the mind that we can get every single one of the um, notes at one time. Now that I'm understanding how the mechanics of this game works, or this challenge anyway. Shouldn't let that guy catch up. On, oh, great! Shouldn't have let that guy get so close. Wanted to see him. Just trying to see if we can find any more coffee. I'm not sure if we even need it, but why not? Okay, maybe we can find a cook cup. but us and that monster out there. Those off, so 
so we don't have to keep scrolling past them.
So that's a pretty straightforward route. So that would be two more, and then we would need the one in Leak Inlet and Broken Railroad. We'll give it a shot. This is on until the 12th. suicide and jumping off the rope. I wish I was able to turn around. We might have been able to see the dark walker. So, I haven't seen any videos at all of Hush River Valley. Um, so, I have no idea where the fire is, and I didn't know where any of these fires were either. So, the only reason we knew where the first four were is because we had already collected four notes in the first attempt. So, other than that, this is all aside from knowing how the mechanics of the tools work. Other than that, I don't know anything else about this game. As far as locations of the fires. Sure is getting foggy. The damage that we take from the little bit of fog that we have to deal with is going to be negligible, I think. And uh, But it will destroy all of our food, so we will have to pick up some more food. Big deal, right? And we haven't even really been eating any food except for the saltine crackers and salty stuff just so we can drink some more coffee. not going to worry about any kind of fire making stuff, I don't think. We really don't need to make a fire since there's one made for us already. I guess the first thing we're going to do is go over to the edge here and look around. See if we can spot any green glows anywhere. I doubt it would be so close as to be right there. I'm, I have a feeling it's up there. 
by the mysterious signal fire. Only because we have to climb a rope to get to it. But then it, well, the mysterious signal fire is active up there, so that means if we do climb up there, we can get the moose hide satchel. But I'm just gonna look over the edge here, see what we can spy with my little eye. We do have the map that will show us exactly where it is. Now, that smoke could be the signal fire or it could be the green fire. So, we're probably gonna have to check it out. Son of a bitch, okay. We can't take a chance. Of course, we can look at the map, right? I don't want to look at the map. I showed you the map for that other location because we already knew where the fire was. So I'm hearing like a metallic buzz. And I heard that before by the fire, I think. I think we're going to have to climb up here. Son of a gun. Maybe we can get a better, a better view from up there. Might be able to spot, spot it if it's not there. There's a bear down there. That's it. But I can hear... Like the, a metallic sound. like a otherworldly sound for the fire. drawn to gunshot sounds. So... Yep, he's coming this way. Okay, get up. I, I think if we drink, we won't have to stop, but... Let's see what we can do if we drink this coffee. Oh. Well, let's see if we can make it to the ledge. We can't stay down here for the bear to come and get us. I 
thinking that they're gonna make us go all the way back to Moose Lake or whatever it's called back there. Can we see anything from up here? It's getting foggy. Oh, there it is, down there. Ah, uh, well, we're not gonna get that bag. We don't need that bag. We just need this before anything happens. Of course, we could have went over there and grabbed the bag and then climbed down that other rope. If it has a rope on there. Last time I was up there it didn't and we ended up falling off the edge. I got that on video on the stalker playthrough. You know, if you guys don't mind and if you like these videos, give it a like and subscribe. I know I don't ask a lot because I'm not into asking, but uh, if you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate it. Almost 89% uh, of the viewers are not subscribers. So I think when I saw that flame, I should have took a better view. I think it's down there. It is down there. It's in Hidden Valley, son of a gun. Okay. Well, there's only two ways in and out of there. Well, one, you can fall, but, so I guess that would make it three. But you gotta place down over here, and there's a rope on the other side that you can come down. Yeah, that's to get us up the other road. 
So, here we are once again. Oh, wind, uh, wind walker. Uh, that's a badge for walking in the snow or something like that. Anyway, here we are once again, friends, at the end of another video. And I'll see you in the next one.